Hello guys and welcome back here to our Journeyman series where we are with Barrytown managing in Wales. We are back with some more Champions League qualifying round games. We're into the second round and we're about to take on Hapuel Beersheba from Israeli. Again going to be another very tough matchup for us and hopefully we are able to get through again and get closer to trying to get into that elusive group stage for a little minnow from Wales. Team news, we have a new signing. This is Aurier Neto, a 27-year-old attacking midfielder. He's going to be our right-sided inside forward. He spent the last few seasons with Bangor City, and he looks to be a very solid pickup for us. Excited to have him joining our team and hopefully he will have some big contributions for our season this year and for the very first time Scott Lane will be in our team lineup today got both players registered instantly into our starting lineup both are lacking match fitness but we will deal with that along the way so let's go ahead and jump into this matchup we will be at home taking on a very strong Israeli side, Hapoel. Jenner Park is going to be sold out once again. Going to be a fantastic atmosphere for the boys. Alright, both teams are out. We are underway here in a very big game. Is that Harry Arter for them? It is, okay. Uh, interesting, Harry Arter is playing for Hapoel in Israel. Did not expect that, but there you go. Is that also Carl Jenkinson? What the heck it is. Um, very bizarre, but there you go. But we are on the ball here. Can we create an attack here? We look like we are doing pretty solid so far this game. Davidson, go on. All right. He gets the ball back. Can you whip in the cross now? He gets the cross and offery. Oh, heads it just over. Very close from our attacker there. 30 minutes gone. Still nil-nil here. Hapoel do have more possession, which is rare for an opponent to have more possession than us. But they do have it. But we're on the ball here. <gasps> Penalty! Oh, that was so close. Come on, Scott. Get in your cross. Oh, go on, Scott. Oh, offery. Oh, what? Oh, my gosh. How have we not managed... To get the ball into the back of the net there. Wow. Incredible defending by Hapuel there. Harry Arter has picked up a yellow card. See if we can capitalize on that here. But there is half time. No, no here. But it looks like we are the better of the two teams. In terms of the first half there. Can we go out there in the second half. And capitalize on that. All right, second half underway here. Can we find a goal in the second half? Would love to get a goal heading into the away leg here. We're going to make our first two substitutions. We're going to bring on Rafael for Stewart. And we're going to bring on Callum Lewis for Evan Press. There we go. First two substitutions are out there. We're on the ball. Can you whip in a cross lane? Oh, go on. Oh, Jones Williams so close. Davidson picks up the ball. Patton has a long range shot. Gets blocked. We pick it back up. Jones Williams plays it out to Rafael, who has a shot and he scores. Let's go. Jones Williams picks out Rafael and he beats the keeper near post. 1 0 to Barry. 65 minutes gone. Get in there. It's been a long time coming, but we finally found our breakthrough. Can we push for a second goal here? Alright, we're going to make our final substitution. We're going to bring on Francis for Neto. Got 15 minutes left in the game. Can we push for a second? But we just got to be mindful of not conceding a goal here. We don't want to concede an away goal. Smith picks up a yellow card as well. We're into added time here. And the game is over. 
we get a 1-0 victory and that sets us up for a very good match for the second leg. We held them out. We did not concede an away goal. That is huge. All right, guys, we are back. About to take on Hapoel in the second leg here, holding on to that 1-0 lead after the victory at home. We do have a new signing. Of course, they're not eligible for today's game, but this is Chris Greaves, who we picked up on a free transfer after he was released by Southampton. So we finally have gotten ourselves a new center back. And I think he will probably take the place of Dominique Smith. And Smith will move to the bench. But not quite sure yet. We'll have to do a little more comparison there. But we're ready to jump into this second leg here. We are away in Israel taking on Hapoel. Wow, I've just seen some of the players that they have. They have Javi Martinez the ex Bayern player. He's now 33 years old, but how have they managed to get some of these players? Uh, they also have Gonzalez, who used to play for my local team, Columbus Crew, before he went off to Italy to play in, with Palermo. Um, yeah, they got some really good talent on their team. They're, they're a little on the older, the older side. This player looks pretty good, too. Let's see if we can get the victory here. Or hold out for a nil-nil draw. I'd take that too. Alright, the teams are out. We're underway here. in a big second leg game. Come on, the Linets. Oh, they pick up an early injury. So they're forced into a sub within the first 10 minutes. They have a free kick though. Oh no. The worst possible start for us. Conceding a very early goal. That is going to give them a big momentum booster. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody just calm down! Scott Lane picks up a, a yellow card, but we do have a corner. It's whipped in by Neto. Get there, Smith! Oh, come on! We got it, Ryan Stewart! It took a couple of shots. It was bouncing around in the box, but Ryan Stewart... The man of the moment, he puts it in there. It puts us back on top. And that is a big goal. We have no way goal now. So they must score two goals in order to beat us. We have another free kick. Neto whips it in. Oh, it's saved. Wow, look how close this was. Uh, Okay, you can't really tell if it's in or not. Normally you go like heads out, head overview, but that's okay. We're looking dangerous here. Oh no, we've turned it over. That was a bad touch. They're through on goal here. Wolin with a big save. Come on. Oh, that's another free kick now for Apoel. No, Carl Jenkinson puts it in there. We're even again on aggregate. But we hold on to... The lead based on away goals here. Uh, not another free kick. What are you doing, Woland? Are you kidding me? What's the goalie doing, Tom? What's the goalie doing? What the heck? He's just completely missed the ball. We're now losing. Oh no! What was that? It's halftime and we're losing. I cannot believe what I just saw from Mullen there. He's had an absolute shocker. So we now have to come from behind. Can we find a way? We're on the ball with Stewart, though. Can you whip in the cross? It gets blocked. Oh, he gets it over to Offrey. Back to Stewart. Oh, he's hit the post. No. Goes out for a corner. Neto's going to whip this in. It's headed away. No, I can't believe Stewart's hit the post there. 
Good tackle there. Okay, substitution. We're going to bring on John Francis for Neto. Our second substitution, we're going to bring on Birch for Lane. We're running out of time here, guys. 20 minutes left. Gonna make our final substitution now. We're gonna bring on Callum Lewis for Evan Press. Nope, I'm pressing the wrong button, guys. We gotta go for it. We gotta go all out. Very attacking. Come on, guys. Can we find a late goal here, please? We're on the ball, Davidson. Come on. Oh, that was close, but we have the ball still. Oh, Francis! Imagine if that went in. Oh, my gosh. They're aimlessly booting it forward. They're giving us an opportunity here. We're on the ball. Bringing it forward. Played inside. Penalty! We got a penalty! Oh, this is huge. Come on, Offery. Please. This is your chance. Yes! Offery! Oh my gosh, that puts us ahead on away goals. We're parking the bus here. Unbelievable. He's redeemed himself after missing the penalty kick in our previous games against Legia here oh my gosh we gotta hold on for a couple minutes now let's go we've done it again we've absolutely snatched a late goal to put us through on away goals again unbelievable this team continues to defy odds and pull results from out of nowhere Holy crap, we're advancing into the third round of the Champions League qualification stages. Unbelievable. Do we know who we're going to end up getting? Okay, we're getting a, a Swedish side, I believe. How do you pronounce that name? Nork? Norkoping? Sure, we're going to go with that for now. We have a Swedish opponent. And the third qualifying round. Unbelievable. Surely our, our money is going up. We're at 94000 Before we kicked off this season, we were in the red. We were down at 67000 in debt. And now we're at 94000 We're not even getting money for winning right now. This is all gate money and TV money. If we were to get knocked out, we would then get a lump sum money. You don't start getting money for wins until you get into the group stage. So we are setting ourselves up for a very good payday, regardless of what happens at this point in time. But we are into the third qualifying round. Incredible. Wow. I can't believe we have actually pulled that off. We were dead and dusted. But we did it again. But guys, wow. If you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you're smashing that like button for sure. And subscribe if you are new around here. And join us on our European journey. Until next time, it's been your Boyd147.